All right, and we're going to be going to Martha's Rest over here. I can pause it when y'all guess. What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. Staying where we are for now, I reckon. Let's get you to a physical, shall we? I'm sorry. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But to culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Hmm. It's fun. Y'all don't interact. I'll stop interacting. I'll stop all kinds of interactions for free ones. I just thought that y'all like to do the, the free stuff. Just trying to help y'all have fun, but I guess y'all don't want to have fun. Look up ahead, Martha. Are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields. That's what happened. The Black Shields. The bastards caught wind. The abbot and I were helping bearers. They were going to hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds, poor souls turned on the Imperials, distracted them long enough for <clears> them <throat> to get away. Then they may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. It seems a step too far, even for the Empire. All right. So again, one more time. It is below 50 and above 42. It's over. 
get him. All right. So y'all got seven guesses. Are we too late? There might still be someone inside. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offense. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. Woo, Dargus! <laughs> Welcome back. This one. Sick of it. Ah. Over here. Ah. Nameless, are you not going to guess anything else? I think so. Okay. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. You're a butthead. <laughs> the abbot. Winner. The bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive, he's breathing. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only. That were true. <coughs> the black shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tell Martha. To beg Sid's aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I, I 
shall. Sid! Where are you? Sid! In here! We found a survivor! Clive? He's gone. We've laid the abbot to rest, but the bearers, they didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't, but it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Redux jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. So, <clears throat> the question was, I once won a pizza eating contest. How many slices did it take to win? The answer was 43, and Nameless got it, and now I have to eat a darn atomic fireball. But I will not do it on the video. You need to go lay down, baby. Go lay down. Go to bed. I'm going to have to take him out or something to get him to stop. I swear. He has become needy. He just wants me to sit and hold him here lately. I'm trying to figure out how to get where I'm going. Um, Is it it's this way? So we go up and around and back down. Okay. So I'll do that when I take my next little break. Let's uh, get through to this next area. I just want to go to cross that bridge. Uh-oh! Ariman Rank C. Oh, it's a bounty! What? Yes! Bounty! Notorious marks. Every now and then, Clive may encounter creatures larger, faster, and more ferocious than most. While flight is always an option, defeating these notorious marks can earn him not only renown, but also rare materials that may be used to craft new gear or upgrade existing items. Woo, doggies! It's a floating eyeball. It's a floating eyeball. Thunder! <laughs> All 
Doraemon is not that hard this time. But, oh well. There we go. Woo! Notorious Mark Slane. That was good. That was cool, man. Alright, we got 220 experience, 35. I, I don't know what that is. Um, 5,000 gil and 10 renown. You didn't see that coming. <laughs> That's cool. All right, we're going to get across the bridge, and I'm going to pause for just a minute. All right, I have got that thing in my mouth. For Yozio watching the video, it is hot as Hades. Oh my gosh. Here we go. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. Okay. Turn to Martha's rest. We're just going to fast travel to get up here. It's kind of cool and off. I've never had one of these things to where they were... They actually cooled off at all, but this one is kind of cool and off. I guess because I'm drinking water. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? Oh, you couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago of black clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times, you would have been right. What these black shields are doing. It's unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. All right, my tongue is going numb, but it's it's getting less and less hot. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. 
It's actually getting better. I kind of like it. Try not to move. You'll only make it worse. But it, it it is burning my mouth bad. Oi, you there! Don't just pass me by. You handy with that sword of yours? Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Cause a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were too. And now, they're back. Looking to settle the score. Oh, go on then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. It just got so much worse. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm over here like just... I feel like I'm about to start sweating. <sighs> Alright. There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw him cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dock. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry. You'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. And give those no good bastards a hiding from me. Woo! Oh my gosh. Y'all, that about took me out right there. My mama says it goes through hot, cool, hot, cool. That one was way hotter than the first hot. Holy mess. My tongue is burning. The, my mouth is burning on the sides. White heart. That's quite a name for a chocobo. Now it's getting cool again. Oh my goodness. That was wild. All right, we're okay again. It's going to be my chocobo. Oh, I bet you. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. I bet it's Ambrosia. Speaking of brave birds. Looks like they went that way. Great call! It's kind of hot on the sides of my mouth again, but... It's it's not as bad at the same time. It's just really weird. <laughs> These I've aren't going down without a fight. Never had this one of these all the way through. They're in trouble. Got you cornered, Feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh. 
And why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. It's, uh... Or better still. How about we hurt you both? All right, then. But don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> That's better. It so much like a, a jawbreaker now. Oh man, that second level of hotness. Oh my goodness. I bit into it's what happened and it lit me on fire. Let's do it again. <laughs> It's her. White heart, I presume. Do you know her, boy? It's Ambrosia. It couldn't be. It's Ambrosia. It is you. You survived. And you found yourself a flock. Oi! He, he is it over! <laughs> I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, well, you sorted the bastards then. I knew you would. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And not only that. Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or something? Well... I, um... Oh, no, sorry, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are, you done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master back, I reckon. <laughs> Told you, and 
it seems our pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. All right. We got Ambrosia back. In the other games, the, the Chocobos go, Can we go? Can we go? Can we go? <laughs> I think even in 15 they do. So we got three mounts. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old white heart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry. We'll get along just fine without her. <laughs> you hear that, White Heart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have she's got an eye patch. Your master now. <laughs> hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me. Silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. <laughs> you take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. We got mounts. Got a shake. Do the chocobo shake. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, baby. Chocobo unlocked. Awesome. Let's do this. Let's jump on the chocobo. Tell me how. After 18 long years, Clive has finally been reunited with his faithful steed. Hold R3 while in the field to summon Ambrosia and X to mount the chocobo. When you ride alone! Look going here, baby. Woo! I gotta run for a minute, y'all. I gotta enjoy this. Rain in. Okay. Awesome, awesome, baby. I am, I'm so happy now. We got our chocobo. pick up whatever this is and then we're going back to the base the hideaway okay we need to go here it'll let me move it's finally Where's God? about gone <laughs> That was an experience. Ah, Clive! Oh, I've missed that scowl. 
Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first. Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <sighs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath, near Ironholm. Drake's Fang, in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine, in Walud. And Drake's Tail, here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's Fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's Breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron Rossfield. Lord Byron Rossfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rossfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for, eh? Huh? <laughs> I think that this is our bounty board. Otto's counter is now open. Awesome, awesome, baby. New facilities. The following hideaway facilities are now available. Alien reports, the patrons whisper, and the hunt board. All three located near Otto in the mess. All right, let's go look at them. What are we waiting for, indeed? Mm. How do I get to that? Boop. Um, the reading table, the wall of memories, state of the realm, the hunt board, the hunt reports, and the patrons whisper. All right, so we need to go behind the black hammer. You think it's all right to touch him? No, it's not all right to touch him. Don't ever touch me. What are you thinking about? <laughs> I 
I hadn't seen this part yet. Won't be long now, Martel. They'll try your apple soon enough. See, I, I am, uh, was hoping to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just, well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martel's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she... Well, after she died, and now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the Curse Breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. Sure. It'll be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called. In honor of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. We got a hobbit hole. All right, let's get rid of that. We're going to go back up here and see if we can figure out wherever that is. Uh, I'm trying to think of what it's called. Sorry, sir. Um, what's up here? The atrium? All right. And you say Sid built this place? It's been lying around for several thousand years. But it was his idea we claim it for our own. I miss Sid. The real Sid. So they, something there is not open yet. I don't know why. Hey. Okay. Oh, that dress is simply fabulous. In it though, all the ladies in the Dominion are wearing them. Go on, eat up. You won't grow fat pecking at hay. So there's goblins. There's other beast out there. There's the wolves. Stuff like that. Okay, it's Tarja. Uh, wait a minute, how did I get here? Yeah. Desiree. Oh, Clive, welcome to the Patron's Whisper. The Patron's Whisper? Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friends' donations? Oh, no, that's still me. It's just, Karen has her toll, Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. I still catalogue every item that arrives, in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Okay. Is everything we've received and everything promised.
accept the donation. Here you are. You earned this. Uh, renown of 85. Okay. So you have to just get a renown of 100, basically. That's, that's not too bad, so. Oh, okay, I got you. That's cool. How are you doing? Anything catch your eye? There's no available task. Seen enough? All right, sir, let's talk to him. Okay. What's the matter, Nectar? The hunt board? It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was that what you wanted to know? I'm the mightiest of all the Moogles. <laughs> so I had to slay them all. Well, leaving your mightiness aside for the moment the people of Valisthea are going through a lot already what with the blight and the war the last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else so if the curse breakers are too busy to help then perhaps i can or at least i can try All right. Uh So we got Ariman. Clearview and Sandbrick, the Broken Hilt and Rosaria. Ooh, that's a big dragon, the Angel of Death. Okay, it's a harpy. That's a dragon. Okay. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here, courtesy of Martel. Martel. Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Course she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Loved plants more than people. <laughs> Aye, and brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. A gift from the backyard. For your service. Oh, it's a whole basket. Blimey, these take me back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. <sighs> Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clyde, 
Tell the lad down in the back yard to run some over for me, will you? Not so much as a thank you. <laughs> well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? Yes, Help sir. Last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. All right. Uh, there's this. This is the easy way to get up here. Uh, what was in here? Okay. And you say Sid built this place? Ooh, it takes a while to run this. Did you come through the forge today? All right. It's not the curse breakers send their thanks. And their compliments. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her. A after all these years. I suppose she was very kind. Even to a tongue-tied lummox like me. You were one of the good ones, Martel. Why did you have to die? She put everything into her work. She wasn't going to rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her, and now it's a full-grown tree. Martell lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? All right. Okay, I don't think there's any more. I'm going to go ahead and get back up here. And I'm going to take a quick break after I get back up here. I think it's alright to touch him. Okay. Is there something new here? I... I guess... Okay. I hear there's trouble in Rosario. Okay! 